As we mark American Heart Month, doctors say the link between high blood pressure and high cholesterol puts you at a greater risk of heart disease. Toro Family Medicine physician Dr. Meredith Maxwell joins us to talk about the relationship between the two and the importance of getting screened. Dr. Maxwell, good morning. Um, okay. let, let's go right to that. What is the relationship between high cholesterol and, and high blood pressure? So unfortunately, these are kind of processes that you don't really feel. So really a screening is necessary to figure out if you have either. Um, by the time you have symptoms, it's kind of too late with the blood pressure. It's, it's, it's probably really uncontrolled. But um, high cholesterol and high blood pressure can actually exacerbate one another. Um, it can add on to the, um, the, the worsening or severity if you have one. And it's kind of like an additive um, process. So high blood pressure just means that you know you're doing even more damage to those vessel walls putting you at risk for heart disease and then if you add on the high cholesterol on top of that um, you could have an event like a cardiac event um, if it goes uncontrolled so I, I, during this heart month I want to um, tell people go get screened it's really important because a lot of people are very surprised when they come in and they're like oh my blood pressure's high I didn't know um, um, and a, a year, if, you, if that's your last checkup, can make a, a big difference in, in how quickly it might spike. Uh, I mean, it happens every day. They're like, oh, I just added on a couple pounds here. I've been eating that Mardi Gras king cake, um, you know, every two days. And then, oh, my, I'm, I'm 10 pounds heavier and my blood pressure is, is, is uncontrolled now. And you don't really know until you go get checked out. Well, um, let's, be blunt, let's be blunt about it. If you have higher blood pressure, you have a higher chance of dying. It's just that simple. So, and, from, yeah. so what's the, is weight the biggest single factor or what can people do to lower it? So, so being the correct weight, um, which your doctor will kind of tell you where you need to be, is, is really important. Um, not smoking is a huge factor. When I get people to quit smoking, you can see their blood pressure drop like 10 points. It's amazing what it can do. Um, you know, so w watching your salt, the processed foods, w which is very difficult to do unless you're counting those grams of salt. Uh, everything that is processed has salt in it. Um, even if you're not adding salt, you might be having a very heavily salted diet and not know it. So those are the big things. And then exercise can really make a difference with this. Some people just have high blood pressure. It's genetically ingrained and, and you can't really control. You could be perfect with everything else and you could still have high blood pressure or high cholesterol. So there's a genetic component that you can't really control. But uh, I'm almost out of time here, unfortunately. But if, if it goes up over time, if it starts to spike from where it normally was, then that's probably a pretty bad sign of that you it, need it to address is, it. Yeah, it, it is, and it's not just a number. Um, there is end organ damage that can happen. Your kidneys can get hurt. Your eyes can get hurt. Your heart eventually gets hurt. So it's not just something that we're, you know, willy-nilly trying to treat. It, it affects everything. So and, and it's forgive really me, I forgot, I'm sorry, I forgot. What's, what's the good number you're shooting for again? Ideally, 120 over 80 or less. But, well, you know, you get the diagnosis of high blood pressure at 140 um, or less or, or more or not in 90 on the bottom or more. Um, certain conditions require lower blood pressure. So that's important to know that it's not straight cut and dry across the board. It's tailored to each individual. Gotcha. All right. Great stuff, as always, from Dr. Meredith Maxwell. Dr. Maxwell, thank you. You're welcome.